Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday and for dinner tonight I am making Spam fried rice. So right here I have one can of Spam that I cut into cubes. I have six eggs that I'm gonna scramble. Um, I already have my rice and then I have some green onion here that I'm gonna chop up. And then I also have some frozen veggies. I need to grab that out of the freezer. I'm just frying the Spam in the wok. Whoop. I'm gonna fry that until it's nice and golden. I already have my eggs. I like to scramble, well sometimes I scramble the eggs in the same, you know, in the same pan, but today I just scrambled it in a separate pan. And then here's the veggies. I only have a little bit left of this one, which is carrots, corn, and green beans, oh, and peas. But I do have corn, so I'm gonna add some extra corn. And then I'm gonna season with some salt and some soy sauce. And then this is the rice. This is leftover rice from yesterday. Okay, so I just pushed the Spam over to the side and I'm just going to add the rice, if it will get out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just add the rice and I'm just going to fry up the rice and warm it up. And then I'll mix, I'll, I'll mix everything together and then I'll add the egg and the veggies and then season and it's going to be yummy. So here's what it's looking like so far. I've already added the eggs and the veggies. And I'm going to add some soy sauce and a little bit of salt. Okay, you guys, so here is what the Spam fried rice looks like. This is actually all that's left um, because we already ate and I forgot to show you guys. But, yep, that was our dinner for Monday night. Today is Tuesday and for dinner tonight, we are having chicken quesadillas. So I have one going right here. Um, I just have cheese and chicken. This is the cheese that I'm using. It's the Kirkland brand shredded Mexican style cheese. And then to make it easier, I'm just using this ready, grill, this grilled and ready chicken breast. So you just, I just warmed it up in the microwave, and then I just cut it into small pieces, just like that. And yeah, it's already like really flavorful and juicy, and it just makes it so much easier. I just used regular tortillas for everyone, and then for myself, I'm using the low-carb whole wheat tortillas, just because I still have them. So here's mine right here. And then I also made some Spanish rice earlier. I didn't film the cooking part of it, but I think next time when I make it, I'll do like a recipe video on that. So here's our plate. We have quesadilla, rice, beans, and then we have this uh, spicy jalapeno sour cream for whoever wants that. We also have guacamole, and then we have some hot sauce over there. So that is our dinner for Tuesday night. So today is Wednesday, and it is Wing Wednesday. And for dinner tonight, I made lemon pepper wings. This is actually the leftover because I forgot to show you guys. So lemon pepper wings I made in the air fryer. We also have buffalo wings, but this is just the frozen one that we got at the grocery store. So I just cooked that in the oven. And then we also had some seasoned fries. And I filmed a mukbang. So if you guys are interested, that video should already be up by now. I'll leave it linked in the description box. So that was our dinner for Wednesday night. Today is Thursday and for dinner tonight I am making garlic noodles and I'm just using spaghetti noodles because I have this already in my pantry. And then I also have one head of garlic that I minced and then four stalks of green onion. And then for the sauce I'm using just regular white sugar, some fish sauce, some oyster sauce and then I also have butter and oil. And then I'm also going to add some parmesan cheese. I was also thinking of cooking this shrimp. This is the frozen, I don't know what it's called. It's the frozen shrimp that I get at Costco. So I think I'm gonna cook some of this in the air fryer. Right now I am heating up the water for the noodles. So once I put the noodles in, then I'm gonna start on the sauce. I'm gonna get the sauce ready right now. So in my bowl, I'm just gonna mix everything together. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of white sugar four tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of oyster sauce, and then just mix it in my bowl. Here's what the sauce looks like. So it's ready to go. I'm just gonna leave this over here while I wait for the water to boil. So I just put the noodles in and now I am melting the butter and I have a little bit of oil in there. Um, it's supposed to be six tablespoons of butter but I just put the whole stick because it's just two tablespoons more and then two tablespoons of oil. Uh, the recipe calls for olive oil, but I don't have any more, so I just used vegetable oil. Okay, I have it on medium-low heat, and I'm going to add the garlic and the green onions, and I'm going to cook this for about five to seven minutes. You don't want to burn the garlic, though. You really just want to infuse the butter and the oil with the yummy flavor, like the garlic and the onion flavor. So you got to keep stirring it and keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't burn. 
So it has been, well, it's been like seven or eight minutes actually. I turned it up to medium high. Now I'm gonna add in the sauce and I'm gonna cook this for like 30 seconds. And I have the noodles right here ready to go. So after about 30 seconds, I'm gonna add in the noodles and I'm also going to add in one cup of, or no, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, the grated Parmesan cheese. I have it ready to go right here. And then I also have the shrimp already ready. All right, you guys, so that's what it looks like. I just gave it a good toss. I let it cook in here for like another 30 seconds. Uh, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get everything plated and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here's my plate. I have garlic noodles. I have three pieces of shrimp. Vanessa has the same thing and then AJ just has the noodles. I added a little bit more cheese on top and then if you want it spicy, you can add some crushed red pepper flakes. So that is our dinner for Thursday night. So today is Friday and for dinner tonight I made tortang giniling which is basically like it's like an omelet it's a Filipino omelet I didn't cook the didn't cook <laughs> I didn't film the cooking of it but I do have a recipe video so I'll leave it linked if you guys want to see how I made it It has garlic onion tomato red bell pepper and ground beef and then of course the egg so that's our dinner for Friday night Today is Saturday and for dinner tonight we are having local mocos. So I have my hamburger patties cooking right there. I have some mushrooms sauteing in there. And then to make it easy, I just uh, use the packaged gravy. So I have it ready to go. Once the mushrooms are cooked, I'll just add the gravy to the mushrooms into the same pan. So here is my plate. I have my hamburger patty, the mushroom with gravy and a fried egg, no rice. Um, everyone else will have it with rice. So that's our dinner for Saturday night.